setting up and setting up my my stream over here. There now it's live. Hey everybody. <laughs> if you're tuning in just now, I had to do this for my brother. Cause he's been taking a watch of my videos lately. And uh and I know this is something that really gets to him. So <laughs> hi everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, I have got a Goodwill outlet bins haul for you. And if you got to see that little tidbit of silliness, um, I like to do silly things to get myself in a fun mood before I go live. And I was just talking to my brother who gets really, you know, you got those buttons you can push with your brother. So we were walking around Costco and I just, every time he looked at me and I said, hi, brother, I look like this. Anyway, so that's what I, that's what that's all about. So he's been watching my videos a little bit lately. And <laughs> do you do that? Do you try to find things to make your siblings cringe, cringe worthy stuff? I have yet to find what makes my sister cringe. Oh, I take that back. Making any sort of reference to our parents in the bedroom um but i think that works for all siblings anyway <clears throat> i hope you do things to make yourself smile because why not right okay so i have a goodwill outlet haul from the bins for you guys today and this is actually stuff if you if you follow me on instagram <laughs> uh, i or even on facebook i shared not this weekend, but I think it's from last weekend where I said like a tactical haul where I had like the the mesh, the like camo mesh stuff. So this is part of that haul. I finally brought it in the house. Um, but I went to the bins today. And so that stuff I'll have to show you later. But anyway, that's what that is. <coughs> it's getting better. My cough is getting better. Um, so if you're watching me and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can follow this girl. Um, we have days like this. And sometimes I I go around and we chat and we have fun and I show you stuff and we learn. And that's just the way it happens on this channel. So if you're live, hello everybody in the chat. Thanks for coming to hang out live. If you're watching later and you're wishing you could be here live, then hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. And also subscribe because... That's what the cool kids are doing these days. They're all subscribing and doing fun stuff like that. Um, okay, but hi in the chat. Thank you for coming. Um, Fox and Kat and Julie and Reggie and John and Nola and Terry and Vulture and Karen. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Okay, and I'm sure more people will pop in as we go because I, I never can tell you when I'm going to do a video because I have to strike while the iron's hot, while the kids are busy doing something else and... And that's that. Okay, so this Goodwill outlet haul that I have, <coughs> again, it's not all of the stuff that I got because it's a lot. And I've really been doing more. Uh, when I go to the bins, I'm trying to be really careful about how much I'm spending. I probably should also be careful about how much I'm getting. But because my Goodwill outlet, the the if it's a buck 49 a pound but if it's glassware it is 20 items or up to 20 items for a buck 99 and then books are i think five for a dollar something like that and so i've been trying to really make sure that i'm making the most of that even if i end up having stuff that i end up having to redonate um because if i can get five dollars for that two dot two buck 99 or i can get 20 things I'm going to try to make sure I get those 20 things because um, it's just even if it's a smaller sale that's fine even if it's something that like oh I end up having to redonate get a coupon at Samers it's cool or I'm on a local like buy nothing site you know like in my neighborhood and surrounding towns um, so sometimes I'll throw stuff up there I'm like oh you know it's not going to really resell for much maybe somebody locally can just take it for free <clears throat> karma right it's good karma so um oh yay julie says i'm excited about it. now i'm going to pick up free bubble wrap your needs are simple totally yes all right so hello from pflugerville pflugerville is the next town over from me hello mandy sue so, okay i'm gonna get started now for real 
So the first item, oh, oh, and before we, the last thing I'm going to show you, so if you stick around, I'm, this is a teaser. I don't do a lot of teasers, but I, I got this McCall Centennial Portfolio of Prints, and I didn't, I haven't gone through it. I opened it just to kind of peek to see what it was, and um, it looked really cool. So I, I was like, you ever do that? You like save it, and you're like, I want to have a little surprise later hopefully it's a good surprise but that's my little surprise for all of us for later we're going to open it up and i looked it up but i didn't dig through the i guess it's like different pictures in there <coughs> so i'm excited to see what it is all right first thing i got is this can you see what it is can you tell can you tell this is Royal Co. Animal Face Forms. There's five of them in there. And so basically it's like an art thing. Can you see up here? So like there are these clear molds and you can make like paper mache or plaster of Paris um, faces and masks of these animals. And I actually got two of them. They weigh next to nothing. They're super light. Got two of them. So let's take a peek. And I actually pulled up the <clears throat> I pulled up all the research already just because, just because. So there's one up there on eBay, somebody's selling for $17.65. Here's the thing though, they are being sold on different other websites, but I also look on Etsy because this is a supply and on Etsy you can sell vintage items, handmade items or supplies, like supplies to make other things. So this would qualify as a supply to make something else and there are none up there so I'll do a little more digging about like you know like what exactly face forms animal face forms animal face molds and do that kind of search uh, and then I, I my guess is that it's gonna sell on Etsy so I'll probably put those up for about $15 each and then I, I charge shipping on everything so my guess it'll be like probably about an $8 shipping on that um, so I'm gonna do it that way so that's what I'm going to do for those. What do I have next for you? And if you have questions along the way, if it's got to do with what we're talking about, then I'll answer it as we go. And if not, then I'll answer it at the end. But definitely stay tuned because I can't wait to see what those, those pictures are. Okay, next up. You're really watching live. You're here. You, you made it. I muted myself. Okay, so next. I don't know what it is about this mic. I really like I like playing with it. So the next thing I got, I'm a Halloween nut, if you don't know this. Halloween and Christmas both. I like Halloween a lot because there's really funky, fun stuff that you can find. But I like Christmas a lot too. So. But I got this Halloween tray. I guess it's Halloween. I mean, it's not. I think it's supposed to be like a haunted house. It doesn't look too spooky. So. But it's all oranges and purples and blacks, right? And there's a cat. A black cat. It looks like somebody painted it. Like. Look at that owl. I wonder if that's an owl. I think somebody like hand did this. Look at this. I can't tell if it's supposed to be an owl or a gargoyle. Let's see. Can you see it? It looks like a human face on it though. I'm trying to get it close enough so you can see. Can you see it? Look at that little owl face up there. I love it just for that. I like things that are just different like that. But anyway, do you see that face? Isn't that funny? It's like somebody, they started to make an owl and they were like, they got the form and the body of the owl, and then they were like, uh-oh, I don't know what an owl's face looks like. I know. I'll just make it a sleepy dude. So, <laughs> so there. Oh, my gosh. My dandy's mom, were you here when I did? Sweaty balls. Welcome. <laughs> if you're watching live, not watching live, then sorry. Check the chat. She says, when you talk close to the microphone, it reminds me of sweaty balls. I did that one time. We were, we were doing a live video, and... <laughs> uh, welcome to National Public Radio, and you are on the Delicious Dish, and on today's episode of Delicious Dish, we are talking about Christmas recipes. Oh, my favorite Christmas recipes. And today we have got whoever Alec Baldwin plays, those, and he brought his famous, his world famous, Sweaty Balls. Oh, he's got some samples here. Anyway, if you haven't seen that, go Google <laughs> SNL Sweaty Balls. Um, 
Okay, moving on. So let's take a peek at the, this is what we do. This is what we do on this channel. We learn and we play. So uh, <laughs> I have to find which video I did that in because we really went to town with it. It was, it was funny. I think I need to get Elaine to do that with me. I think that would be a lot of fun. So I couldn't find the same exact one because I think somebody hand painted that. <laughs> but I, you know, I found a few Halloween trays up on eBay, um, but I'm thinking I'll probably put around $15 on it. Yeah. Let's see. And, huh. Okay. Okay. There. Oh, thanks for, you stopped watching another video just to watch me live. Oh, thanks. Well, if they've pre-recorded it, you can always go back, but I appreciate you being here. So yeah, I'm probably going to put about 15 bucks on this tray, even though I really like that little owl slash what is he owl slash man slash gargoyle on top of that house it's very peculiar I feel like I could just write a whole it, it looks like like a Neil Gaiman story like could be written just about that little owl man gargoyle on top of that house so I love Neil Gaiman all right moving on so the next item I'm going to share with you guys Ooh, here it goes <clears throat> is a, a Halloween costume. And this Halloween costume is Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I I believe all the pieces are there. I need to double check that. But I went ahead and got it. And let's take a peek at why I got it. So, um, I went ahead and selected pre-owned because there were a lot of new ones up there. And here's a men's, you know, and it's an adult one. So I'm seeing like $15, $20 on that. If you go to, if I, if I deselect pre-owned and we look at just the new ones, you know, we're looking at 30, 35, 40 bucks, depending on the size and everything. So I'm guessing I'll probably put about $15 or between 15 and $20 on it with the best offer. So hang on, let me do this. Oh, he comes around. Karen's asking him, where's Dan been? He comes around every every now and then. I think something happened last time and he got, I don't know if he got put in timeout or one of the, ad, or like, one of my people that watch the chat put him in, you know, deleted something. I don't know what happened. So, I don't know. Hopefully he's doing well. <coughs> I know he gets sick sometimes. Okay, moving on. Let's see what I've got for you next. Okay, this one. I'm going to cough again. Apologies. <coughs> it is getting better. Okay, so this was heavy. I don't, Where's my scale? This is quite heavy. It's I think it's a brass because you can see it's kind of rubbing off on there. Um, and he's painted green. He's not tarnished green. He's painted green. So it's this Chinese dragon. Very heavy. At least two pounds or more. He said everything was erased. Oh, weird. Okay, I don't know why. I didn't do it. I, I don't know. Um, strange. So, so here's the thing. I couldn't find this. Per, I couldn't find the same one. I found one very similar on Worth Point, and then I don't have Worth Point. But as you can see, there's the Worth Point one. There's mine. Mine almost almost looks like a replica. Like the one on Worth Point. Let me get to the other screen so you can see it bigger. The one on Worth Point. It's um details the details look a little more refined and it may be just because mine is painted green it just doesn't look that fancy or it may be that mine is a replica of that one I can't tell but anyway it's the same one ish and I don't know how much that one sold for because it's on worth point <laughs> so if anybody wants to uh, I'm clicking the wrong thing if anybody has worth point I just need to talk to them so yeah about 2.75 yeah that sounds right so, antique bronze Chinese dragon statue. The other ones that I've seen that, that sold, this is just doing like a Google search. There's one that's 175 Hollywood Regency. I just love that keyword because that just means more money. <laughs> so, I can get the paint off. Yeah, I probably could. It, it might actually sell better with, with the paint off. Because it's, I don't know, it's weird, green. I have to clean it up anyway. There's some weird pinkness on it. It is cool, right? So I'm thinking, 
I hear feet. I can't tell if I hear tears. Children are coming. I'm live. Beware. <laughs> okay. I did it. I did the trick. Um, so I would say it's the same dragon, only someone painted it. Yeah, I think that's probably what happened. I, so anyway, I mean, I see some other dragons up here. I don't know how big they are. That one says 11 inches, $40. I don't know. I feel like I want to charge more though, just because I like the $175 one better. I like that price <laughs> better than $30. So chances are likely that I will probably put this up for maybe like $40, depending on what I see. Karen says you can get the paint off easily with oven cleaner. Oh, like a spray on one? Would that damage it? Probably not. Hmm. It's something to think about. I'll definitely consider it. I don't know. Let me know in the chat or let me know later if you think I should get the paint off of it because then if I got them all shiny I could definitely put that Hollywood Regency keyword on there and jack the price up you know the scales are a bit different yeah I think mine are a little chunkier scales but other than that I mean like it's got the same tail and everything so anyway um so I, I'm probably gonna put 40 bucks on it anyway um unless I can do something to make it really fancy schmancy but seeing as it weighed you know close to three pounds so I probably paid was it a buck fifty a pound so like four or so dollars for four, four fifty on that so even if I make you know sell it for 40 bucks that's still a good profit all right then wow that's really cool hang on let me show you something even though it's not what we're looking at fine old Chinese cloisonne look at that cloisonne dragon Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. But look at the price. Yeah, what's this? Gold gilded. Ah, it won't damage it. I think you should get the paint off. I'm going to try. Or spray paint it. I might, I might try the oven cleaner trick. I've never done that before. That would be interesting to find out. Why not, right? Okay. Let's see. Dawn says, Sumi did a demo of removing paint from a lamp using oven cleaner on her channel. Sumi is the one that she does the videos with the crazy lamp lady girl, right? I wish I had more time to watch everybody. The spray out. Put it in the garbage bag. Seal it up. How about that? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to go check that out. I'm gonna. Because, yeah, if I could clean it up in an hour. Because that would probably increase the price. Yeah. All righty. So the next thing I got, I picked it up because I wasn't quite sure what it was. And it says Kanger Tech SSOCC replacement coil. And then inside, there are like these little things, little coily things. So there we go. I like catching that. I like catching her videos every now and then. I really, I wish I had more time to watch because they're always so, in always so interesting. So anyway, what? How is it wet on the back now? Darest I smell? Why is it wet? Is it for my... I have a drink over here. It might be that. Okay, so... um, What is that? Oh, I need to find this out. Here's the thing. Because I, when I searched it, it turns out this is something for like vaping, I think, for vape pens. And I don't know if I'm allowed to sell it. Can you sell stuff that goes in... Like here are some solds. It's like these things. OCC replacement coils, sub mini... I don't even know. So I guess I can try to sell it. I mean, it's tiny. So I think if I put it up there for 10, I'll probably put it up for like 10 bucks. Because I have, I mean, we'll see. I don't know if I'm allowed to sell that. Anyway, vape the stuff. It's these little coils. Who knows? I don't know. It's a big question mark. So next, the next thing. Oh, the next thing is when I go to the bins, I'm reaching for something. Hang on. <clears throat> I'm always looking for, because I have to carry all my stuff out, so I might as well get something like a bag or a purse or, a t you know, like a tub that's nice that I can use at home. And so I used this baseball, it's like a canvas baseball bag, originally just because it was, you know, nicer than like whatever other bags I saw. Um, 
going around and I was like, well, let me just see what it's selling for. And there's one up there selling for $12.50. Uh, I probably could do a little more digging to find if there's more. Oh, I did. I saw on, on Etsy that I think this is the same brand that people maybe just buy this brand when I searched it. Um, what's it called? 1650 South. I think it may be a brand that people get and then they do their own embroidery on it because I'm seeing like on Etsy people have like embroidered their, you know, baseball mom or something and gone with that. So we'll see because <coughs> it, it is the same bag. It's just done, done up with stitches on there. Um, ah, okay. She always has, them. oh, she already has, has her stuff listed. That's good. I can't get stuff listed that fast. I wish I could. I took like so many pictures yesterday. I listed a lot. Well, for me, a lot. I listed like 10 or 12 items yesterday, which is really good for me. Um, so I did. That's what I did. All right. Next up. Did I even show this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Next up, I got a trivet. I like buying trivets. They tend to sell okay. Um, especially if they're nicer looking ones. And this one is a Pampered Chef trivet. So, I mean, it's not anything... Oh, that says Roundup from the Heart. That says Pampered Chef 2008. Um, and here we go. So, the soles are kind of up and down. I'd have to clean it up for sure. But, like, anywhere from 8 Like, that one sold for $17.99. Well, it is free shipping. So, if you look at it, you know... It's, it probably sold for about eight anyway. So, I mean, my options are at this point. Here's another thing that I do. I think to myself, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it because I'll use it if it's not like something awesome. Because I think I only have like two or three trivets because I'm using trivets all the time, right? No, but I thought, oh, you know what? I could use a, a trivet if I really, if it's not going for anything. It's okay, I'll use it. <clears throat> and same thing with my next item, which I was surprised about. Oh, she has people that help her list. That's nice. Cool. Whatever works, right? You gotta do. You got to do. All right, so I got this too. Um, and it, it's heavy, and maybe I shouldn't have gotten it, but I think it's probably gonna be one that I end up keeping because it's not selling for that much either. I mean, I see some up there that have sold anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars. Some are at five bucks, you know. And so I'm kinda like, eh. I mean I guess I could just sell it and recoup my money. Or I just keep it and make really fun cornbread. So <laughs> there's that. Cornbread cast iron corn mold thing. So <laughs> hello, hello in the chat. Hello everybody. See more friends coming in. Let me go see what you learn. Oh my gosh, 55 friends. Go over there and hit that thumbs up, definitely. Um, I don't know, tell me what you think. Would you keep the corn? I don't make cornbread that often. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Not even once a month sometimes. When we make beans, because like at least we used to do it more often where we make beans and ham in the, in the Instant Pot or the Crock Pot. And then I'll make like cornbread to go with it. We used to do it like every other month. Hmm. Anyway, I can't decide what I'm going to do with it. So then, are we on in this already? We are. Wow, we made it. <coughs> We're going to do it. Oh, okay. Keyword it with farmhouse decor in the title. Pretty. Oh, do you mean the cornbread thing? Because two, I didn't even look on Etsy. There might not be, because there's a bunch on eBay. There might not be quite as many on Etsy, but there might be. But I mean, that's what ended up happening with some of my other stuff is that I still priced it the way I wanted and then it sold on Etsy. So, okay, here we go. Calls Centennial Portfolio of Prints. And here's all I looked up. Okay. Here is what I looked up. So I looked this up and I could see like the little pictures and that's what I saw. But when I went to the bins, oops, let me flip it back over. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, when I opened it at the bins, I just kind of peeked really quickly 
because I, you know, time is of the essence when you're there, really. So I'm trying to open this thing up, but the cardboard keeps flapping back down. All right, here we go. I pulled the pages out. So let's look and see what we've got here. There's a paper for protection, I think. And then there's another paper for protection. Okay. It's really, ooh, okay. So here's the first print. This is fun. All right, here's the first print. And look, in the bottom it says, printed in Italy. So, Gaudi's Fashions for December 1870. And it looks like this. It almost looks like a hand-colored sort of, I don't, I mean, I know it's probably not. It's probably printed, you know, most likely. But isn't that cool? So that's the first one. Let's see how many more we've got in here. Oh, I got some really cool stuff today, you guys. I really want to share it with you. <laughs> I got some, I'll tell you what I got. Hang on. Let's look at the next one. Okay, next one. Same thing. Gaudi's Fashions for September 1870. Look at these. Look at her. She reminds me of Scarlet. She's got her, her drapes on. <laughs> Did, <laughs> Did y'all see that one? The Carol Burnett? I mean, it's so, it's classic. It's uh, iconic. Then Carol Burnett does the whole Scarlet, and she comes down with the, like, curtain dress, but she still has the rod. <laughs> I love Carol Burnett. Oh, my gosh. I need to see some more of her stuff. It's been a little bit. <laughs> Okay, next one. These are so cool. You need these for your sewing room? I'll have them listed at some point. Or if you want to buy them from me, then just send me a message and we'll work it out and I'll send them to you. Okay, so then here we've got Gaudi's Fashions for March 1870. Aren't they so pretty though? Oh my gosh, yes, Carol Burnett. And I mean, I always forget to say that, but if you ever see something you want in this, you know, it's because it, then I can sell it to you easier and just ship it out. You know, I did more of it when I had my um, when I was doing more jewelry, which I've had requests for. I still believe it or not. I still have a thread up box, two of them over there and like two Goodwill boxes that I shop Goodwill jewelry that I haven't. Yeah. Um, so here we go. These ones are for May 1870. Wow. She looks like the Queen of Hearts almost over there. Well, not her face, but her dress. That's pretty. Is that it? Is that the last of it? Or is there one more? Hang on. There might be one more. Or is that... I think that's it. Okay. So cool. So when I saw those, I was like, yes, these are awesome. I will definitely... Great for someone who sews for their room. Yes. Oh, my mom is trying to rope me into coming to help her clean out her sewing room again. <laughs> help me. I mean, I love my mom and I want to help her. But oh my gosh, if you quilt, you might know what I'm talking about with your quilting sewing room. So, <clears throat> tell me how much and I'll talk it over with my husband. Oh gosh, I haven't even thought about it. Uh, let, let, me, let me see. Oh boy, I don't even know. I have to think about how much that would be shipped. I'm guessing 20 or 25, probably. For you. For you. So something like that, depending... On shipping. Yeah. Depending on where you live, too. So there's that. So somewhere in that range. 25-ish, depending on shipping. Okay. So I'm looking at the chat, and I'm pausing my brain. Sometimes it, it feels like, do you, do you ever see Ra Rangu? Rangu? Rangu. Rango. 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 <laughs> the one with the, the chameleons, Johnny Depp, and he's in the, like, desert. Rango, yeah, and then the girl, she's talking, and then all of a sudden she freezes, you know. Um, I don't know. That's how I felt just now. So I have other things, but I'm going to save it, and we'll do another haul, because otherwise I don't know how long I've, I've been on. Um, so how long have I been on for a little while? Yeah, otherwise it'll be on forever and ever. Tennessee, okay, that's not bad. Okay, probably about, because I'm thinking it wouldn't. Okay, we'll talk about it later. Send me a message um, on Facebook or email, texasgaltreasures at gmail.com. So, <clears throat> anyway, yeah. Okay, cool. I will be back to share more stuff, and I will see if I have some oven cleaner to clean this dragon. If I do, I'll, 
you know I like to make a video for everything. So I'll make a, you know, videotape myself. Videotape, like old school videotape. Um, I'll record myself doing that. And I'll have to go watch Sue Me to see it, right? And yeah. Okay. Julie says, so now that you open Pandora's box after this video, do another of the boxes. Oh, oh. Oh, the jewelry ones. I wish I could, but I have to go to Sephora. I have to go to Sephora and return some makeup. I have to. Um, yeah. So, but I do. I really need to get, get to that. Oh, my gosh. But that's the thing. There's one me. And I'm trying to think. Y'all are two jewelry box. I'm trying to think if I can do it tomorrow because I know if I'm able, I tell you what. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do one tomorrow. Okay. But it'll be tomorrow evening because my kids have like a thing, a school thing, a random a wilderness, wilderness school tomorrow. Um, so I won't be around the house. I won't be in the wilderness either. There's a South side bins <laughs> and I never get to go. So I might try to go. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what else. I heard they moved though. Random. Okay, so I will be back likely tomorrow and possibly with one of these. To okay, since you're here, you get to vote. Jewelry. Do you want me to open the thread up box? I've got two thread up boxes and I've got two shop goodwill boxes. <laughs> And so it's funny when I do this and I tell people how long I've hoarded them. Some people are like, that's just, that's not true. You would not keep it that long and not open it. Yes, I would. <laughs> I have jewelry jars too that I moved from the other, when I was in Houston, that I bagged up and I, because <laughs> I didn't want the glass to break. Um, I still have some of those that I haven't opened too. So yeah, let me know. Do you want me to do the thread up one or the shop goodwill one? And I'll do it tomorrow. I'll, I'll rig up my system and we'll do it. I'm looking in the chat to see what y'all say. Let's see. I'm trying to be a good girl and make my own coffee drinks at home. So that's what that is. Thread up. I got one Goodwill and one Thread up. We need, we need some, uh, we need some tiebreakers here. Thread up would be faster. Shop Goodwill is quite large. That's quite, that's the poundage, you know. You want me to look up the prints? Okay, I'll look them up some more. I wanted to sell online for a long time. Colleen, how do you do it um, cost effectively? You mean like, um, it just takes time. I mean, I've been doing this for a number of years and yesterday I still only, I took pictures. I took a whole bunch of pictures yesterday though. And then I, I still got about 10 things listed. So it looks like I see more thread up in there than Goodwill. So I'll probably do a thread up one. Okay, so be, if you want to make sure you hit the little notification button so you'll know when I go live and we'll do that. Have Penelope decide. Oh, I don't even know. It's been so long since I've done Penelope. I, I, it, yeah, anyway. Okay, all the fees involved. Oh yeah, it just takes time. It takes time. I would start slow, start with the, what you got, yeah. All right, Joel says, Goodwill. Um, the one that takes the longest, I like the long videos. Yeah, it's just a matter of juggling all the stuff, you know. We don't do a whole lot of other school when we have wilderness school days, so I won't have a whole lot of that to do with the kids. We'll probably still do reading because I like to do that. But I will have a good maybe two hours because they have their quiet time, their reading time, their video game time. So there's a good two hour chunk there. So, mm, but it'll be in the evening. Okay. All right, you guys, thanks for coming to hang out. Go over there and leave a thumbs up. We've got 60 friends watching and my throat wants this lozenge, but says I can't have it until we get more, <laughs> until we get more likes on this video. Do you want my throat to hurt? Um, <laughs> thanks a lot. <coughs> um, but I'll, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll do some jewelry. We'll do it. I'm committing to it. All right. Um, have a good evening, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm ending my stream. It always does this.